Look where you're going, not where you've been. Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Hello, it is Friday. Are you feeling the weekend, people? Thank you so much for joining me for your daily dose of inspiration and positivity, starting out with the quote of the day, faith is the rocket that you ride into unchartered territory to get to your wildest dreams. I'm going to read that again. Faith is the rocket that you ride into unchartered territory to get to your wildest dreams. Anything truly is possible if you are willing to work for it. So it's Valentine's Day weekend, and I was wondering how many of you actually celebrate Valentine's Day. I remember back when I was single, we thought, I thought that Valentine's Day was the end-all, be-all. It was the most important thing. Couldn't wait to have a honey so that I could celebrate Valentine's Day with my man, and I remember the first Valentine's Day that Joe and I were together. We were engaged, and he was working nights. And on that Valentine's Day, while he was at work, I went to a Weight Watchers meeting. (laughs) It's like, it's what I've always dreamed of. But, you know, we'll we'll get each other a card and maybe, you know, some of our favorite candy or something like that, but we don't make a – a horrific deal out of it. I typically tell him, don't get me flowers because they're so overpriced on that day. Um, we typically don't go out to dinner because it's just so crazy. It's like Mother's Day brunch, right? It's like you just can't get in anywhere. They have these special menus um, that they call them when in actuality they're just limiting their menu and jacking up the price. So we, you know... I don't really celebrate it. Not that big of a deal. But I do remember listening to a radio program one year, again, still single, where almost every single person that called in was like, nah, we don't celebrate it. Nah, we don't celebrate. I'm like, what's wrong with you people? What is wrong with having a dedicated day to expressing your love for the person in your life? Because they were all like, you should be doing it every day. Yeah, you should be. But do you? Probably not. And then it turned out, once I got married, it's really not that big of a deal in my life. I thought it was going to be a much bigger deal. But you know what? It's just not. My husband did bring up, maybe we would do some surf and turf on Sunday. I'm not opposed to that. I can get in with that. Again, just making it at home ourselves. You know, the great thing about having uh, a cook in the house is, He often thinks that he can make everything better than in a restaurant. So, score. Yeah. All right. Bring it on. You want to make me steak and a lobster? I'm here for it. Here for it. Yes. I'll let you know. We haven't completely decided yet. So, here is your thoughts. Ashley says, yes, we usually make dinner. And if we don't buy chocolate, we make Something we are buying, oh, excuse me, we are making chocolate covered strawberries this year because they were all sold out last year. Kevin says yes with cards and a small gift. Michelle says yes, but I always include my children. That's very sweet. Kathy says yes, always flowers, chocolate, and dinner. Corinne says always, although not always on February 14th due to work. Kathy says yes and no, nothing formal like cards or gifts, but we try and spend the day together. Kim says not a chance, hate that day. We got engaged on the 16th, so that's our day. Nikki says nope, and Nancy says always. So yeah, most people saying that they do go ahead and celebrate Valentine's Day with their sweetie. So 
Some people think it's a big deal. Some people don't think it's a big deal. And hey, you know, it's all what works for you as a couple. Another interesting question is, is Valentine's Day really something for the men? I've always kind of thought, and you know, I guess it's a little selfish. I've always kind of thought that it's kind of a woman's holiday, you know, where you get me a gift, but I don't have to get you one. <laughs> is that wrong? Is that selfish? I don't know. I think that women just care a whole lot more about Valentine's Day than men do. Just my opinion. Moving on to the topic of the day. Looking forward, not back. There is a reason the rearview mirror is so small and the windshield is so big. It's so much more important to watch where you are going than to concentrate on what we are leaving behind us. Yet, that is exactly what so many of us do in our lives every day. We operate our daily lives on the belief that this day will be just like all the others of the past. Instead, we need to focus on the type of day we want to have and how we can make it so. We often get up thinking this Friday will be like all the other Fridays we've experienced. We'll get to work and look forward to the end of the day when we can come home and start the weekend. We typically enjoy whether that be laying around or going out somewhere with the family, hanging with some friends. But what if we thought about doing something different? What if we want to do something a little outside our comfort zone? Maybe hike somewhere with a great view or starting that exercise regimen? I know we never start that on a weekend, but that doesn't mean we can't or shouldn't. Maybe if we kickstarted a new plan on a weekend, we would already have some momentum going into Monday and the new week. How cool would that be? And when Monday rolls around, maybe we can stop thinking it will be just like all our other Mondays filled with dread of a whole work week in front of us. Find or start a project at work that will bring some excitement. Fig figure out something to do at lunch that will give you a little extra to finish your day strong, whether it be a type of food you eat or going for a walk or eating your lunch at a place with a view. You know, I live on... Um, I live on the water. I live at a live at the Jersey Shore. You all knew that. And when I'm over on the island, especially around lunchtime, so many I see of the construction workers pulling up to a parking area where the pier is off on the bay. And they just sit there and they eat their lunch. Lunch with a view. Because if it's there, you might as well, right? It's better than eating it in a parking lot. Or at your desk, get out. Find something that will perk you up a little bit. Then find things to do after work. That brings a little more life to your life. Experiment with new healthy foods for dinner. Make time to do it properly. Find the joy in making a meal and having something that feeds your body in the way that it needs. This is when some visualization is necessary. Spend some time thinking about how you want your life to look right now. Right now. How different is it from the life you are living? What can you do to make those changes? Then get up every day and look toward the life you desire instead of dwelling on the days that have already passed. When we look forward, we move forward. When we keep looking back, we can't move very fast and we'll likely crash, going back to the rear view mirror analogy. We must make a concerted effort to stop looking at what has already happened and move along in the knowledge that what we have in front of us can be whatever we want it to be. What parts of your life would you like to keep and what parts do you want to overhaul? Focus on them. Stare out that wide windshield and watch where you are going. Follow the directions you have mapped out and eventually you will get there. But stop looking at that rearview mirror. It's meant to only glance at occasionally. Focus on where you're going, not where you've been. It's Cocktail Friday, y'all.
Grab yourself a cold one or a warm one. Speaking of, we did have a bit of snow yesterday, and you know how I like to sit in front of the sliding glass doors with a cup of hot chocolate? I made myself a nice hot chocolate with some peppermint bark, rum chata, and it was delicious. It was delicious. I got to tell you, it went way too fast, though. I only had one, though. Just one. So have a fantastic weekend. Please, please be safe in whatever you do. Now go on out there and be badass. You know I'm here cheering you on. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Hopefulist.